Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing our first ultimate clean with me in the new place and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. We're still trying to get unpacked so I'm gonna be doing a lot of that in this video but I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that with you guys so let's get started. This video is sponsored by Viva. I have no problem admitting that I am a paper towel snob and Viva paper towels are by far my favorites and have been for a while. I discovered them at my aunt's house when I was visiting one day and they stood out to me because they just feel different. They feel like cloth. The Viva multi-surface cloth cleans like cloth and is great for everyday cleaning. The cloth has a chevron pattern with ridges designed to lift and trap messes on a variety of surfaces, glass, wood, granite, stainless steel, and can be used both wet and dry, and has two layers for extra absorbency. The Viva Signature Cloth is great for deep cleaning. This cloth is super durable and stands up to even the toughest dried on messes. What stands out to me about the Viva Signature Cloth is its soft, smooth texture. It's soft, but it's strong. And I use it to clean floors, bathtubs, carpets, counters, all the things. If you guys want to check out Viva for yourselves, I will have a link in the description box below. Just go ahead and click that link. So let's start cleaning. I am going to be starting in the kitchen and I am just tidying everything up, putting things away where they belong, and then I'm going to be wiping down the countertops. There are a few dishes left in the sink, so I'm going to rinse those off and then put them in the dishwasher. People used to make fun of me in my old apartment because I would basically pre-wash my dishes before putting them in the dishwasher because my dishwasher was just not very powerful. This dishwasher, I am happy to say, is so much more powerful. It's just a better quality dishwasher. I still like to rinse all of the food off of my dishes, but for the most part, it does a really, really great job. And now I'm moving on to the glass stovetop and I'm using just some glass stovetop cleaner and then those Viva paper towels, specifically the Viva signature cloths to scrub anything that's stuck on. Moving on to the refrigerator, I sprayed the stainless steel with just a stainless steel cleaner and then I'm using the Viva Signature Cloth to buff and polish and wipe down the stainless steel refrigerator. Next, I'm moving on to the sink. I just put a little bit of dish soap into the sink. That's my favorite way to clean it and what I found just to be easiest because I always have dish soap right there on hand. Last but not least for the kitchen, I am wiping down the floors right here by the door because we've had some pretty wet weather and we tracked in a little bit of mud. And here is the kitchen all cleaned and tidied up. Now that the kitchen is all clean, I'm moving on to the living room. This is our main hub and where we pretty much just hang out most of the time. So it gets pretty messy pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go through and just straighten this area up, put things away where they belong, and then fluff up the pillows.
Like I said, we are still trying to unpack. We've gotten a lot of it done, but there's just some things that still need to be put away. A lot of it's just loose and kind of stuff. So all the stuff on the staircase needs to go upstairs and I'm gonna do all of that in this cleaning video. We're still trying to figure out where we're gonna keep some of our cleaning supplies. Some of them we can put upstairs in the laundry room, but while we're still deciding where we're gonna put what, a lot of the cleaning supplies end up in this coat closet downstairs. We have two diaper bags for the kids, one for Oakley and one for Emerson, and I use the one for Oakley as kind of like my purse too. But I desperately needed to go through Oakley's diaper bag. A lot of these clothes that were in here as his backup clothes are way too small for him, and he also needed to have more diapers added to this diaper bag. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going through it, taking out those two small clothes and restocking some diapers. Growing up, we never kept our shoes by the door, but when I married Andrew, for some reason, we just kept finding our shoes piling up by the door. So we got this little mat from Ikea to keep our shoes on, but I'm curious, are you guys people that keep your shoes by the door or do you keep them, I don't know, in your closet, in your bedroom? Where do you guys keep your shoes? I know that's a random question, but I'm curious. Eventually, I'd like to get a basket to keep here at the bottom of the stairs to put things in that need to go upstairs and then one at the top of the stairs to put things in that need to come downstairs. Taking trips up and down the stairs isn't always practical and isn't always gonna happen. So having a basket to carry things up, maybe at the end of the day, just sounds like a good plan to me. Moving on to the upstairs, I'm going to focus today on the master bedroom and the master bathroom. As you can see, it's gotten a little bit out of control. There's still boxes that needs to be unpacked. So I'm gonna focus on that today. First, I'll start in the bathroom and I'm just tidying up the countertops, putting everything away where they belong. This vanity doesn't have any drawers, which is kind of unfortunate, but I've organized it in a way where we don't really need to have any drawers. And if you guys have a vanity like this and you find yourself just needing more space to organize, utilize the vertical space. Get things from Target, containers, drawers, anything that you can utilize vertical organization space, and you will find yourself with plenty of space to keep all of your stuff. I'm not doing a super deep clean of this bathroom. I'm just gonna go through and give everything a really good wipe down. Before I even make my bed, I need to fold these clothes. These are all clean clothes that came out of the washing machine and I just kind of dumped them on the bed. So I'm gonna go through and fold all these up first before I even can make the bed. It's kind of quiet in my room right now without you. 
One day we plan to get a bed frame. I don't know when that's gonna be, if it's gonna be in the near future or not. But one day I plan to get us a bed frame and actually decorate our room for the first time in our married life. And now that everything is all straightened up and put away where it belongs, it's finally time to tackle this closet. This is something that I had been dreading and putting off, but the time has come for it to happen, and I have recruited Andrew's help to get this done even faster. I do plan on doing a furnished house tour as soon as I get everything set up the way I want to and decorated the way I like it, but I'm not going to rush myself. I kind of want to take my time decorating the house and just getting it to be kind of how I like it before I film that video and show it to you guys. But I do want to do some house updates here and there. So you guys will get to see more and more of the house as I set it up. So that is it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys liked this video and that it gave you a little bit of cleaning motivation. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with your notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the videos that I have coming up. Follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch to keep up with us there. Don't forget to check out Viva. I will have a link in the description box below. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.